Ancient watchers of the skies knew there was something different about them, these colorful, bright objects moving oddly against the starry night. But if you use a modern star chart or astronomy software to find them, these wandering planets can bring you immense satisfaction. Make sure you're using your best eyepieces. The difference between good glass and mediocre is easily noticeable on planets. Before you go planet hunting, be sure and check the sky. If the stars are twinkling, the atmosphere is probably too turbulent to capture great views. On the best planetary nights, the sky may actually look slightly hazy as the layers of the lazy atmosphere stack up gently. Then you'll be ready to hunt for cloud bands on Jupiter, maybe even the great red spot, which will probably look more orange or light brown. The rings of Saturn, which seem to change angle on a scale of years, a symphony of rust, butterscotch, and cinnamon colors at Mars, perhaps even a white polar ice cap, and the ever-changing phases of Venus. Well, for planetary detail, you're going to want a little bit higher magnification. Again, you always start with a low power to center it. So let's say I'm going to be looking at Jupiter. It's nice and high here, about 40 degrees up. Locked it down, my motor's tracking. Especially, it's, it's handy to have a motor looking at a planet because you're at so high power, the field of view is very narrow and it will move out of the field of view fairly quickly. So I found it and centered it. I'll pop in my high power eyepiece. Now this particular one on the Maxitov is giving me about 150 power. 1540 divided by 10, 154. Anything over about 100 power is great for planetary detail. I'll be able to see the rings of Saturn at this magnification. I'll be able to see uh, at least two or three cloud belts on Jupiter, along with the moons, uh, at least four moons uh, surrounding Jupiter. Anywhere from 100 on up to maybe a scope this size could do about 200 to 250. That's an excellent magnification for planetary detail. For viewing the planets, color filters can help bring out particular objects with, with better clarity. For example, Mars is a reddish planet, so using a green filter can help to bring out surface detail on the red planet. To use, simply thread them to the bottom of an eyepiece, put the eyepiece in the telescope as normal, and you're ready to go.